Hey everybody, how's it going out there on YouTube? Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to paint parts on your computer. Um, I'm going to be painting the I have an Antec 300 Illusion case with a few mods I did myself already, but I'm going to be painting the front grille and the inside of the case since it comes in the flat uh, brushed aluminum color, not painted from the factory. So I'm going to be doing the front grille in a uh, satin white. I got it, uh, it's Valspar paint. I picked it up at Lowe's for about four bucks. And the inside I'm going to be doing a flat black, also Valspar. And uh, it costs about four bucks also. So this is a video series I'm going to be doing. And uh, stay tuned. Okay, so the first step what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take everything out of your computer. Disconnect all your cables, keyboards, uh, mouse, etc. Um, and then re slowly remove all your components. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to place my components back in some of their original bags. This is the bag, anti-static bag for my GTX 480. I'm going to place my RAM back in its original case. And for other things, which the original box is too hard to get to because, you know, I don't feel like getting it, I'm going to put on a piece of cardboard just to leave it, uh, just to get it off the floor and things like that. Try and keep the static away from it. Um, that's the first step. You know, take out all your buttons, unscrew everything. The hard drive has to come out. You know, the whole deal. And then after that, we'll get back to it. I'm going to do a time lapse so you guys can see uh, what it actually looks like. You know, coming apart and everything. And uh, see you soon. Hi right, everybody, what's up? I'm back. Um, so I'm outside now, I'm getting ready to spray paint my items. The first thing I'm going to do is I have uh, a rag inside and I have some wax and grease remover. That way I can remove any stains or anything like that or any sticker, you know, goo or things like that. So that way the paint will stick a little better. After that I'm going to go in with some scotch Brite and some light sandpaper and I'm going to rough it up just a little bit to help the paint stick. Uh, so the things you're going to need are... Um, you're going to need a mask. Mine is, you know, it's okay. It's nothing great, but it's whatever. Uh, your spray paints. And uh, here's my scotch brights and my sandpaper. And my rag is uh, over there. So I'm going to rough up my items and I'll be right back. How's it going, everybody? I'm back. Um, just want to show you one thing I do to really help uh, you paint. Um, everything that I know I want is white. What I did was this. I uh, I put a W on each piece. These don't. I had them wrapped in the uh, the whole bundle together, but I uh, I just unbundled them. But now each have uh, W written on each one. I know I want white. These I'm gonna rough up pretty soon. Um, this is to cover a sticker I have. It's a Corsair Power Badge. But other than that, I'm almost ready to rock and roll here. So uh, it's a pretty hot day. So hopefully this paint should cure a little faster than I'm expecting to, which would be nice. So uh, let's get to it. Everybody ready to paint here? I roughed up everything with a little bit of scotch bright and uh, should be ready to go. I'm going to start spraying the white first and then I'm going to do the black after. Uh, so here we go. I'm going to do another time lapse of me painting. Let's get this going on. What's everybody? I'm back. Uh, so I got my paint. It's uh, it's in the middle of drying right now. Actually, more towards the end for the ultra flat stuff and uh, on uh, on the back panel, or not the back panel, but the back 
uh, part of the case, I did a gloss finish with a, a white uh, splash on it. So I'll show you how it looks in its, uh, its drying phase. Alright, so everybody, uh, this is the drying phase, I guess I'll call it. So here's uh, the front, the back of the front uh, panel, I guess you should say. Um, it's drying with the ultra flat paint on it. Over here we have the gloss with the custom white splash that I did. It's kind of hard to see from the, the sun glare. And in the case, everything is done in black. All the inside is done. Some of the spots just look like they're not done drying yet because some has been in the sun a little more than the others. So I'm going to walk over and check out the white. So I did all the uh, white parts in a white accent. They got the two front uh, fan mounts, the front grill that holds the uh, screen for the fans, the CD cover slots or the faux CD cover slots, and the back panel slots. So that's what I got so far, guys. Uh, I'm going to put this bad boy back together hopefully either tonight or uh, coming few days and uh, hopefully it's come out pretty good. Thanks for watching my videos. Hi everybody. everybody, what's going on? Uh, I just want to thank everybody for uh, watching my videos. This is the machine uh, complete put together. So I got the white on the front and my CD drive is behind here. I just have to pop the front off. I rarely use it myself so I figured I'd take the clean look and a little bit of hassle of just opening up the front panel. Here's just some four pins right here on the side. On the uh, inside that I gotta pull out. Not that hard. My voltage gauge. It's a glow shift. Um, here's the inside. Came out very good. I was very pleased with it. With the way everything turned out. Card. Yeah. So thanks for watching my videos everybody, I really appreciate it. Uh, thanks again.